As with most medicines, acetaminophen is metabolized in the liver. This presentation offers a closer look at the mechanisms of that metabolism. Three different hepatic pathways are involved in acetaminophen metabolism. The glucuronide conjugation pathway accounts for approximately 60% of acetaminophen hepatic metabolism. The resultant glucuronide conjugate is non-toxic and is excreted in the urine. The sulfate conjugation pathway accounts for approximately 30% of acetaminophen hepatic metabolism. The resultant non-toxic sulfate conjugate is also excreted in the urine. Only a small proportion of acetaminophen, about 5 to 10 percent, is metabolized through the cytochrome P452E1 pathway. Here, acetaminophen is oxidized to form the reactive intermediate metabolite NAPQI. NAPQI in turn conjugates with glutathione, also known as GSH, to produce non-toxic mercapturic acid and cysteine metabolites, which are excreted in the urine. Sufficient glutathione is available to conjugate the amount of NAPQI produced when acetaminophen is taken at recommended doses. However, in the uncommon setting of acute acetaminophen overdose, for example, ingestion of 7.5 to 10 grams in 8 hours or less, the amount of NAPQI produced may increase markedly and the amount of glutathione available may become insufficient to conjugate the NAPQI. It is estimated that when the amount of glutathione is reduced to about 30% of normal, unconjugated NAPQI may bind to hepatic cell macromolecules, leading to hepatic injury. Acute acetaminophen overdose can often be managed effectively. Timely assessment and appropriate monitoring of serum acetaminophen levels, as well as selective use and timely administration of the antidote N-acetylcysteine, can be effective in preventing overdose-related hepatic injury. In summary, acetaminophen is metabolized in the liver through three distinct pathways all of which ultimately yield non-toxic metabolites when acetaminophen is taken at recommended doses.